this Asian man posted this video talking about, oh, me before the black girl effect versus after, right? So he shows some pictures of himself before he started dating a black woman and then some pictures of himself after he started dating a black woman. And you notice that the before pictures are swagless, right? And then you notice in the after pictures, suddenly his haircut has changed, the way he dressed has changed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I got some stuff to say to non-black people, but I also have some stuff to say to black people who date interracially. Because as usual, the math just don't quite math for me. was stuck out to me the most in the before pictures there was one particular picture that stuck out right because the other ones you could just be like okay like he was a cornball before he met the black woman and then you know he met her and he got some swag right but no the fact that in his before pictures he posted a picture of himself in his traditional wear right so i believe that is a kimono but i don't know i'm not the most well-versed person in asian cultures i don't know right but the point is he posted a picture of himself in his traditional wear as a part of his before pictures and i think that's really like symbolic you telling me that you only embraced your culture before you came across a black woman and now you you engage in street wear and and african-american culture and like what like huh this is particularly <laughs> illuminating <laughs> because the entire world claims that black Americans have no culture. We have no history. We've only been in America for 400 years and we don't know our roots prior to that because of the damage that white people did during slavery. People claim that we have nothing, right? And it's not just Africans and stuff claiming that. It'd be Asians and stuff. They'd be like, oh yeah, we have such a long history, you know, a thousand years ago we was doing this, that, that, so and so and so. But you see how quick you were to throw that culture away to imitate the cultureless black Americans? You have a long history, you know, this traditional clothing and so and so and so and you threw that shit right in the trash as soon as the opportunity to imitate black americans came up Ooh, like who i swear the math just never quite maths for me but let's 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 move along next i have to get on black people who date interracially i gotta say something to y'all because i just feel like if you go and date interracially then isn't the point to date interracially why date a non-black person who is a boneless version of black? Like, I don't get that, okay? And in this example, it's a um, black woman doing this. But we've all seen examples of black men doing this as well. Like, they'll sit there and be like, oh, yeah, I don't like ghetto black women. And then date the most ghetto, but nasty, funky white bitch they can find. The most ratchet, nasty-ass white bitch with the same long acrylic nails, the same lashes, but she got eye boogers and shit in her eyes, right? They'll, they'll be okay with that. But when it's on a black woman, oh, no, oh, no, 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 right? And again, that's, that's my point. If you're going to date non-black people, right, why not actually date non-black people? Why get with them and then, like, try to turn them into a boneless version of a black person or only get with them because they already are a boneless version of a black person, I don't understand that. Now, y'all know I don't date interracially, but if I did, if I did, why wouldn't I just date a person of whatever background who actually is that background, right? Let's, let's talk about Asians because in this example, it's a black woman dating an Asian man. Why wouldn't I just date an authentic Asian man, right? Why would I sit there and try to turn him into like an imitation black man? Because at that point, I could just date a black man. I don't, I don't need an imitation black man. I could just date an actual black man, right? That's what I don't understand about black people who date interracially. Because very rarely do you come across a black person who dates interracially and the non-black person that they date is just a regular non-black person who is involved in their own culture and stuff, right? It always be like these boneless ass wannabe black versions that like, it's, it's weird. I don't get it. I really don't get it. The last thing I have to address is the fact that, <laughs> it's the fact that non-black people will engage in obvious aspects of African-American culture, right? But then they'll claim that 
it's not African American culture, right? So you'll see non black men with the same like haircuts and stuff that this Asian man had after his black encounter, right? And dress in the same way, and they'll insist that that has nothing to do with African Americans. It's just a haircut, buddy. It's just, it's just a way of dressing, right? But then, yeah, at the same time, you'll see them admitting to that. You'll see them admitting, yeah, this is how I used to look, you know, when I was actually, like, you know, embracing who I was growing up in my culture. But then I came across a black person who 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 tried to dress me up in their culture, and it worked, right? It's funny how y'all just be gaslighting black people, but whatever. I guess that's all I have to say.